so good oh, to see you, darling. Oh, Welcome back. Oh, it's good to see you all. But what have you all come as? Halloween is next week, ladies. What are you thinking <laughs> of? Oh, hi. Dee, Dee, you I look know. amazing. I, I feel like we should be communing <laughs> by, by the spirits, Dee. Have you come as Doris Stokes? <laughs> That's right. We did have a medium on yesterday. So oh, you see, I'm you? still in the zone. Yeah. Oh, wow, fascinating. You, know. you might know him, Gordon, Gordon Smith. Do you know him? Gordon Smith, I do know the name, yes. He's, yes, he, so he came he, on, so he was our medium yesterday. Did he manage to commune with any of your old careers? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> too late. You are very past, darling. I the answer is you. no. The answer Sherry, is no, darling, we didn't. Sherry Amour, just before we yeah. go into this week's theme, look what my mother's got. Put your copy <gasps> of my own, dear. Oh, I say. Oh, nice. I didn't even know. I didn't even know about it, Richard. Did you not? No. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. I, I wouldn't know. I was on that. I didn't know I was on that uh, magazine. Certainly not on the front cover. Wow. No. Can't wow. Be done a cover girl. No bad news of being a cover girl. Anyway, my mother's taken no. inspiration from you, Sherry, and she's currently under the knife. Oh, I'm not sure tell it's legal, her, but her, she's, send her my she's, love. Oh, do, yeah, please. Do. Tell her to oh, always lady. ring me before she does anything. <laughs> I've been there, done yeah. it, had the T-shirt, and bloody made thousands of them. There you go, <laughs> you have. You you so, darling, great. the theme of the mm. day, please. Yep. Well, the darling, the theme is that we're fast approaching Halloween, so I can only imagine what fresh L waste is all uh, next Saturday. But oh. for now, we're talking about horror films, are we not? Schlock yeah. horror or otherwise. And it, it's interesting, um, when Dee suggested this theme, I thought, you know, I, I'm absolutely terrified of the, the, the faintest bump in the night. And frankly, yeah. it has been a while, as you can imagine. I, I imagine that has for <laughs> both of us. But I, I, I cannot even watch anything remotely um, scary, certainly not no. before going to bed. I end up screaming at the screen. Um, I then shout to the other half saying, I can't believe you made me watch that. And without a doubt, at the TikTok at the three o'clock clock at 3 a.m. in the morning, I end up waking up and thinking about it. And obviously the house is dark and I get all the heebie-jeebies. I interviewed a couple of years ago, actually, Jamie Lee Curtis, when she did the final outing for, you know, the Halloween films. Oh, and yeah. of course, when you go to interview someone, you, you, you have to sit through the film, which is ordinarily no bad news because it's a couple of hours out of your day and it's usually the afternoon, put your feet up and there's hardly anyone else in there. It's lovely. Cheeky little private screening. I went into the screening for Halloween. I averted my eyes throughout the entire film. I wore earplugs, didn't have the heart. To I saw I saw so little of it when I interviewed her, but fortunately she's such a pro, she managed to fill in all the gaps. So regarding horrors, I think, do you remember in the days, ladies, I will let you get a word in edgeway soon, but it's just, I'm so giddy to be back with you all. Um, it's been like a fortnight without talking to no wonder. So um, do you remember in the old days uh, when you used to pop to the local spa to get a video, you'd rent a video. I yes. think my first one was yeah. Michael Jackson's yes. Thriller back in 1983. And back then, video nasties weren't really sort of... Um, regulated you know because obviously videos were just coming out and you could as i say you could rent them from the corner shop and i do remember renting <coughs> with, with far too young for it um the exorcist oh well time sherry <laughs> <laughs> so you know me richard <laughs> i know love ever the, ever the pro dear ever the pro and um yeah i remember watching the exorcist and it terrified the life out of me anything to do yeah. with the occult so it's not so much, I mean, I'm not really into like the slash of things. If there's a bit of bloodlust going on, that bothers me less than mm. anything to do with the occult, you know, something And like you remember that. Richard at about oh. the same time was Carrie? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Was horrendous. What's your sort what's of, yours? Not the sort of Cherry. date you want on prom night. Mine would be yeah. Noddy in the Dark Forest. <laughs> <laughs> now you 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 can that laugh. Is. That but is if you've scary. never seen Noddy in the Dark Forest, it's terrifying. <laughs> Noddy and Big Ears decide to go on holiday and they get in Big Ears' little car and they go to the Lake District. So they decide to go into the forest to camp in mm. any way you want to take that. Yes. And anyway, so they go in the forest and they camp and then all these things come out and they touch them from, you know, like when you're on a ghost train. Yeah. And then all these things appear in front of them. And poor Noddy, Noddy runs away and Big oh. Ears has to get in his car and find him. And he doesn't find him right till the very end oh. of the show. Yeah, oh. it, honest, 
Noddy in the Dark Forest, you'll never sleep again. And oh, well, darling, I'm so scene. brilliant. <laughs> never mind Noddy in the Dark Forest. I think Sherry was in the Dark Forest on the mushrooms with a story like that. Are you sure that film even exists? Well, you watch it, Richard. You'll never you sleep go. again. I shall I plunder what? the web. Plunder the web I, for it, my darling. It's, I'll it's tell you a, what bit I've like... a bit more classic in the sense that I <laughs> loathe being frightened in that way. Um, and so my kind of horror films are the amazing Hitchcock films like Psycho, like oh. Rear Window, all those thriller horrors. Birds. But because there's amazing acting, brilliant film technique, it's not, you know, um, CGI, or, it's just brilliant, terrifying crafted characters and I rather love I don't I hate horror films I hate being scared I hate it all but those Hitchcock films I think are just amazing they are brilliantly done have you watched the documentary of how the birds the birds were made and how yes. Psycho was made oh wow no that is more yes. horrifying than the actual film it, it is, is. Thank, what you yeah. it is. thank you for that I'll, I'll probably not watch that thank you I'll just watch the but did, didn't they um they tied the birds to tippy head's yeah. uh, head didn't oh, they? No. to yeah. make it real and they yeah. stuck oh, the birds with glue as well <gasps> so they, no. had, they had terrible yeah. deaths yeah it's well, a horrific so story mm -hmm. oh, well, I'll, then. Then. I'll just go with rear window well coming up a little bit later on Coming up a little later on Wonder Birds, will there be a fact sheet so people can try that at home? <laughs> yes. Well, try a window. What's that? I honestly, I honestly think this show moving forward needs to carry one of those helplines at the end going, if you've been affected by any of the issues that Richard and the Wonder Birds have endured over the last few months, do get in touch. Help is You will home. be all right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, Harriet was talking about good acting. So I'd like to talk about a film that really doesn't relate to good acting called The Wicker Man. Oh. And it's become a cult film. Oh, that's terrifying. And it was really, really scary. It's always scared me. I've, I've never seen it to the end. And I, but all I do remember, it was Britt Eklund smacking her own bottom. Do you remember that in that scene? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> that's all I remember is that Britt Eklund was smacking her own bottom. Was she actually in it, Dee? Yeah. Have you been yeah. having the mushrooms as well? <laughs> 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 Smashing Smash your own bottom. Smacking your own story bottom for Richard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that was, I mean, it's become a real cult. I mean, it's the, probably the worst film I've ever seen and the worst acting I've ever seen. Christopher Lee was in it actually as well. But it's just awful. And it's really scary. And it's all about a cult thing in, in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland. It is, awful. yeah. Yeah. The Howard yeah. Horrors were the best. Yes. They were camp and outrageous and really? silly. I thought they exactly. were wonderful. Yeah. And not really scary, just fun. No, no. Oh, I don't know, because the Hammer House of Horrors, they, they used to be on quite late on ITV, didn't they? And if, if you were yeah. sort of younger in tooth and watching those, your imagination once again would be incredibly um, vivid. Because I remember there was one, and I can't remember, it, it was something to do with an African icon or doll um, that. Uh, oh, I her. remember that. Yes. yes, and you know, everyone who obviously encountered it, and they always had a very ropey soundtrack, didn't they? And ropey effects. <laughs> <when> it was <laughs> obviously met a very grim end. But that, that sort of thing you remember glancing across when you were younger that you perhaps weren't supposed to. And it, that's the sort of stuff that sticks with you, I think. You know, or the no, Twilight Zone when they look out on the plane. <gasps> I the love wings, the Twilight Zone. The <laughs> right? Well, they always used to um, steal bodies, didn't they, in the Hammer Horrors, from all the graves and take them and use all the bits and create another person, which I thought I could have done that to so many people. <laughs> <laughs> the film that used to terrify me, <coughs> excuse me, it's, it's, it's coffee in my throat, um, yeah. The Abominable Dr. Fives. Ooh. Did you ever see that? Where they had no. to drain, they drained all his blood out. Ooh. Painful. And they put it, and then they put all the other stuff back. And I don't know. I probably watched it by accident, but it was one of the. It's, it's really, really horrible. I think it was. I think it was. Uh, who? What was his name? Uh, Lee. Uh, no, no, the funny, the man with the funny voice. Wow. Well, the horror films. Uh, Vincent. No. Oh, Price. you mean no? Uh, no, she means um, Vincent Price. Vincent oh. Price. Yeah, Vincent Price. No, no, he has, isn't he? Ho, 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 ho. Isn't that? Wasn't that him? He could be in the room. No. He could be in the room. <laughs> Vincent no, Price. I think you've got the wrong man there, Debbie. No, he does all people that do impressions of Vincent Price, you know, the horror voice. Who's the voice yeah. at the beginning of... No, uh, you mean Bella Lugosi or somebody no, like that? who's the voice at the beginning of Thriller? 
Oh, oh uh, that's uh, not Vincent Price. That's the other one. Ooh. Christopher Lee. No. Well, you know what? De- I tell you what, Debbie Arnold, I've, I've not missed your teasers. You always throw in a curveball and I'm literally racking my brain. And as the entertainment editor of Good Morning Britain, I should really know what that it's voice Vincent is. Vincent Price. Paul. It is Vincent Price. <laughs> Vincent Price. Oh, I thought that was Christopher Lee. No, no. Anyway, yeah, so that's your horror story. <laughs> yes, that's mine. That's the end of that then. So next week it's going to be, we're going to dress up, aren't we? Halloween. Yes. The it's actual. Crocky. Frocky Horror next week. Frocky Horror on so The Wonderbird. So with Halloween, uh, ha- who do you dress up as, as in Halloween? Who is it? Uh, Which is? What, broadly speaking. I, mean, I think anything goes these days, Sherry. Right. Mm. So like a prisoner or a, a like a, you know. Politician. You know, with, the, with, the, with the arrows on. and. <laughs> Yeah. No, have I gone to the wrong world here? Well, I think, yes, I think got, it's, all, it's all getting a bit stuck on with you, dear. I think you've been locked up too long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll be noddy. I'll be <laughs> noddy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Leave it there. Thank you so Super much. Soon. I cannot <laughs> Thank wait you. for this. Um, God bless you girls. It's great to be back. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, Richard, did you get your cheeses? Did I get my cheeses? Would you know, I'm a little bit concerned because once again, the Wonderbirds have delivered something that um, is in that sort of, well, by all accounts, it looks like there's been some sort of um, uh, organ transplant delivered to the house because <laughs> it is some kind of refrigerated box that's downstairs yeah, just been taken in on my behalf. And, yes. uh, you know, the neighbours are a little eye-rolling thinking, oh, my <laughs> goodness me, what is the house is in this? Everything keeps getting delivered. So if it is the cheeses, I'll be relieved. If it's anything remotely dismembered, it'll fit in with next week's theme. Thank you so much, Wonderbirds. Oh, Bye, Wonderbirds. Thank and you. Love you. And next week. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.